Hello and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. I'm here to do the Libra March 2021 general love reading. Hello my lovely Libras, how are you? I hope you're keeping really well. Thank you so much for tuning in, I really appreciate it. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Cross watch is also very welcome. Please bear in mind this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with every Libra out there. And if you're not feeling it, if you're not liking the messages, if this isn't your story, it might just not be your reading today. So you can always check out your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus are also normally quite useful. Um, otherwise, what else? Oh yes, please do leave me a comment if you enjoy it or if it resonates. I'd love to hear from you guys. Hit me a like on the video, that would be amazing. And also I'm gonna be doing a bonus love reading again this month for whichever sign gets the most likes and subscribe as well. That'd be a wonderful. Right, Libra, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna get some general messages for you first and then we'll go into a full spread. So for Libra, in love in March 2021, please. Oh, thank you. We'll get a few more for Libra, please, for what's happening for them in love in March. What do we need to know? Thank you. A couple more. Woof. Okay. Another one for Libra, please. Nearly, not quite. Oh, oh, that's enough. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So first of all, Page of Pentacles. So there's some sort of um, something coming in here, Libra. Some sort of uh, offer of uh, gesture, a message, maybe an offer to meet up, to go out, uh, can be also like a gift or something. But I am kind of seeing you now. This could be with someone you already know. There's, but either way, there's a sense of moving on from maybe a, a, a troubled, time that could just be like mental mental conflict or um, something that was being quite tricky for a while but you're moving past that you're moving on to smoother waters there's something coming in and I say it, for many of you it could be something brand new because when we have the ace of wands so that is a fantastic passionate exciting and uh, you know action orientated new beginning so it's actually something happening here uh, and it's kind of someone create is like a creating um, creationary energy sorry so it's like someone making something happen uh, and that's you know by reaching out to somebody now we've also got the king of pentacles so that is earth energy capricorn virgo taurus could be dealing with that sign not necessarily uh, i kind of feel like this is someone who maybe either is quite reliable maybe wants some sort of stable connection uh, maybe wants to offer something that's actually got some roots that could go somewhere that could be quite grounded and committed. It could be someone that also um, works in finance industry potentially or something with uh, building uh, potentially I'm just seeing and then we've got the strength card so that's uh, Leo energy. So this is interesting it could be someone who has been holding back previously uh, but maybe King of Pentacles can sometimes be a little bit hesitant about actually getting moving, well, a little bit slow to action. Um, so let's see what that strength card is about. So it could also be that there is some, you're getting some inner strength to maybe overcome some sort of issues and move past them to have some sort of new beginning with somebody. Let's see what's going on. Looking pretty good, I have to say. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, please, for Libra? Why is this Page of Pentacles? Ooh, okay. That's you, Libra, with the Queen of Swords. That's your energy. Also can be Gemini and Aquarius. But uh, actually, funnily enough, she jumped out um, during when I was pre-shuffling the cards, getting ready. So this could be someone maybe wanting to uh, yeah, make up for something that has been um, some sort of issue between the two of you guys in the past. Uh, you may be quite... Um, feeling a little bit annoyed with this person or a little bit disappointed in them. Uh, you may be... Uh, yeah, let's see what else. Why is this... Get anything else for that page of pentacles, please. Obviously, I feel like this this is someone offering it to you, Libra. Uh, this page of pentacles is coming in as someone messaging or offering you something. Anything else for this? why this page of pentacles is here? Why is this page of pentacles here? Thank you. The Four of Pentacles. Ah, see, there you go. That's exactly what I was saying with the Strength card. This could have been someone who's been holding back previously, maybe been, 
now it could be that but it could also i'm just seeing with this queen of swords uh, i feel like you may be um quite guarded towards this person when they do message you um maybe you feel like you don't you're not sure about whether you can be vulnerable with this person or if you want to be uh let's see a little bit more let's see what's going on so why is the six of swords here for libra why the six of swords thank you the hanged man okay yeah so this could have there could have been a delay again this could have been something where you've been on pause but now you're actually able to move forward uh, so this that's good. I think there's been, um, as I said, there may have been some issues with communication. It may have been a complete lack of communication. When the, this particular hangman for me is often actually silence uh, whilst someone you know is gathering their thoughts, taking a time out. Uh, can be a whole host of reasons. So why is the Ace of Wands here then, please? So someone's actually taking action now, making something happen. Why is the Ace of Wands here? this ace of wands about please for libra thank you oh look at that the tower so um can be scorpio energy but for me it's just like mars energy it's um it's ma major action i was about to say it's destructive but it doesn't always have to be it, it can just be um disruptive is a better term actually uh because it's just gonna be a big shake up and i mean look at the difference i feel like you've been in this kind of hanged man um waiting delays maybe he could have also been feeling kind of like in a rut or a little bit stagnant energy um just you've been left on pause and now there is a big shake up big change coming in with the tower uh now yeah <laughs> interesting so why is the king of pentacles here for libra please why is that king of pentacles oh yes ten of pentacles so this is what i'm saying is <laughs> either this is someone who wants to actually come in and offer you something that could go long term the ten of pentacles is talking about long-term commitment uh someone where you could actually have a family with um have a home with you know grow old together it's also about very successful in money this <laughs> is kind of exactly what i was saying already um it could be someone who's very um yeah abundant in terms of finances potentially uh, or it could be that they want to offer you this kind of uh, level of stability and long term. Wow. And why is this the strength card here then? I'm very curious about this. Why is the strength card here? Are you actually holding back from them because you feel guarded? Let's see. Oh, okay. We've got the star. So this is Aquarius energy. Uh, but this is, um, yeah, hoping that things will get better. Having getting your wish fulfillment can be, but also just knowing to remain positive. It could be that you have been very strong, uh, maybe waiting for this person, uh, and that's actually going to be paying off for you this month with some sort of, um, yeah, that keep remaining positive attitude has actually brought some. I'm getting a sense of actually, it could be someone who's gaining courage here. Uh, because the star is kind of like believing that things can be better and the strength is certainly is can be acting on that belief um, to actually take that risk have that new beginning um, I've just noticed on the bottom of the deck we have the four of swords so this could have I, again there's our sense that there was a lack of communication someone who felt maybe constricted in some way they that they couldn't communicate with you something um, yeah you could have been waiting they could have been holding back from saying something to you but there's a sense actually now of uh the hope that they're actually feeling more hopeful so anything else you can tell me about um for libra this month please anything else we need to know thank you oh my goodness that's what you need to know there is going to be a brand new beginning on the table here for you libra i mean maybe this will just be someone brand new and you will maybe you're just going to be a little bit guarded because you've been through enough in the past um but in that case you're definitely coming out of any sense of rut and this is just going to be a huge shake-up it may involve uh some big changes in your life but this ace of pentacles is talking about not just passion but the stability as well they're actually something this, this is a seed that you can plant those roots exactly as i was saying that could go the long term that's what you need to know and at the bottom of the deck now we have judgment so this is a big decisive moment um it's it's kind of like 
what you've done up to this point is being weighed and measured and you're kind of, kind of getting um, some sort of uh, like your judgment is being handed out as a result and I feel like your judgment after this um, being very strong remaining positive you know coming through this time of uh, being on pause, waiting, it's kind of now like you, you're getting your rewards of a, a, a gorgeous, stable new offer, which is also going to be very exciting, very passionate, and can has the potential to go long term here. Wow. Ooh, Libra, let's um, go into your spread and get more information. So I'm going to be asking 12, car uh, 12 questions uh, in the spread about you and your person of interest for this month of March can be the person that you have on your mind whilst you're watching this video but obviously if this is someone who's coming into your life brand new uh, it may just be what you can expect what you'll be experiencing in March let's see so can we get the top 12 cards for Libra please what's happening for them and their person of interest in the month of March 2021 Okay, and there you are again, the Queen of Swords. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, Six of Swords again. Okay, wow. Well. The Four of Pentacles again. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Let's see. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this is you here, Libra. Uh, I don't, I feel like this is you're exuding this single energy. I don't feel like you're in a connection with um, this person as, as like an established connection as you enter March anyway. Um, for most of you, yeah, you're just, it, I mean, you're just focused on your independence. You're being very self-sufficient. Work could be very, going very well for you at this time. Um, but yeah, you're looking really good with this Nine of Pentacles energy and looking like an amazing prospect for someone to be with as well. Yeah, so behind that we have the Magician. So I feel like this um, can be you that's manifesting something coming in here this month, Libra. As I was, as I was saying, it's that kind of keeping, maintaining a positive uh, mental attitude about things, being very strong through, uh, through difficult times. And the magician is that sense of um, making things happen, manifesting, uh, and also having the tools to get everything done. I feel like also this is speaking about with this Nine of Pentacles and the magician that you feel like you have all the tools you need to succeed on your own and you don't really need anybody else. And certainly that's a very strong uh, headspace to be in to, be to come into any sort of relationship. Um, so let's see. Yeah eight of cups behind that so yeah this is telling me it's you're focused more about your um your single self-sufficiency at this time um so with this eight of cups this can be um, a sense of kind of turning your back on uh emotion or things that have disappointed you or things where you've been emotionally uh what's the word unfulfilled in the past you're turning your back you you may have already turned your back on those things and you're looking out um in, in off into the future now if this is someone that you already know, I think for some of you, by the looks of the spread already, it, this may indeed be someone you, you you know about. This isn't going to be someone brand new entering your life this month. Um, and it's maybe something that, you know, has left you emotionally disappointed. So you have kind of turned your back on it. That sense of, uh, you know, you, you're not wanting to be vulnerable to this person anymore. You're wanting to focus on making things happen for yourself. Uh, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, which can certainly talk about someone coming back into your life. Um, the Six of Cups is a very sweet, sentimental energy. It can be reminiscing on the past and thinking about, um, you know, when things were easier, when things were more innocent. Um, and it can involve children as well sometimes. So let's see. Yeah, so we have the two of wands here. So this is going to be some, um, maybe some sort of crossroads moment for you, some sort of decision that needs to be made, uh, maybe about whether to entertain this person from the past if they're coming back in, uh, and uh, or just like you're kind of deciding which direction you want to take your life in right now. I think that's the strongest message here. 
yeah yeah i'm not surprised to see this so we've got the nine of wands so this is embodying that kind of wounded warrior energy feeling guarded feeling hesitant feeling defensive towards this person which is what i was seeing at the start with that kind of when this message comes in from this person with that page of pentacles or this offer i feel like you're going to be um yeah you're going to feel what quite defensive and uh, like you want to protect yourself from this person you may be thinking about the past with them when things were um you know there were sweet times there were good memories but it's just uh, is this enough at this point and is there a potential for things to improve um can things be healed maybe for some of you is what you'll be wondering or do i need to go off in a completely new direction should i just turn my back on this completely um and focus on myself so let me get your next layer right away and then i'll go through everything so let me get the top 12 cards please to clarify for libra what is already laid out And don't forget to uh, pop me a like if you do like the video Libra, it'd be wonderful. And then Libra will be in the chance to win a bonus love reading this month. So for Libra, can you clarify with the top 12 cards, please? What is already laid out? Okay, lovely. Mm, Queen of Pentacles now as well. Okay. Wow. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles again. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. And the Six of Swords for a third time. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Four of Wands. Uh, now, yeah, <laughs> for quite a few of you, actually, as this spread is developing, I do feel like a lot of you were in uh, perhaps an established commitment before, or if you weren't, you felt like it was going in that direction. It's one or the other. For this Four of Wands card for me is about marriage, um, but it's also just, it's the person you feel you could marry or you can see that in your future together i mean if you're not into marriage it's just like a, you know your long-term committed partner it's enjoying the beautiful times of a relationship together it's celebration uh, and enjoying each other very much in love so we've got the king of cups behind that which is water energy cancer pisces scorpio um but this is talking about someone who as i ju literally just said very much in love yes the king of cups loves very deeply um and the emotions run very deep can sometimes be quite emotionally mature not necessarily always that um how can i put it like they don't gush necessarily about their emotions but they feel them very deeply and here is kind of like a little bit of um a possessive element for me as well like with this king of cups but in a, a like in a, a good way that you you kind of enjoy how they just are so enraptured by you they th they think you're absolutely incredible they want to hold on to you they they make you feel very special is what i mean not in kind of like a weird territorial way um but let's see so we've got the three of pentacles behind that as well so you, look what is this is saying to me very strongly here is you've got someone who wants to work on this with you now for some of you maybe that will be someone brand new but for others i feel definitely like this is someone that you already know that you're actually they're wanting like a renewal and a brand new start with you kind of like a fresh slate um this person has a lot of love for you they feel like you are very special libra um and they want to work on this they want to build this for the long term because they see you as a long-term committed partner material so at the bottom of the deck we have that page of pentacles again <laughs> same as at the start so yeah they're gonna be making some sort of offer reaching out to you um sending you a message, wanting to warm things back up again if things have, have gone a little bit cold between the two of you. So let's see, and the strength card again, exactly as at the start. So now this uh, can involve that it's gonna actually require some inner strength to maybe overcome some obstacles together, or it could be that um, maybe like needing inner strength and um, perhaps regarding I'm kind of getting this sense of like uh, 
being the bigger person, maybe uh, overcoming the instinct to uh, kind of lash out or indulge our like fears or or shadow side or you know like saying um saying things from a place of pain it's more like being stronger and and overcoming that um for this connection it's just what popped into my head yeah and the three of wands oh look at this this is serious this is three of wands as well as the here is about going after what you want for your future taking every step necessary really persevering doing the work as well i know it's wands rather we've already seen the three of pentacles but this is um someone very determined to take every step necessary they really want to um it's it's almost like how can i put it not that they're throwing themselves at you but in like a more constructive way than that they're really passionate really want to make this work and and yeah take every step necessary to reach um the destination with you and the destination being the four of wands so quite contrasting energy there even at the bottom of the deck we've got the four of wands here and the nine of pentacles which is that independent energy and i think that's why we saw that two of wands like being at a crossroads about which direction you want to take this in at the, t at the moment so um i should just say as well that obviously feel free to reverse the roles when I'm talking about how you feel how they feel you know energy is fluid so you can flip it as it res resonates for you and um, take what resonates for you and leave the rest because this is a general reading and there's a lot of people watching so it may not entirely be for you so I think that's enough blabbering from me let's go on with it so how you feel about them Libra we have that queen of swords again your energy and the queen of pentacles so earth Capricorn Virgo Taurus again but for me, this is, um, I kind of get the sense that you feel like you had a established commitment with them, something real, something that you were nurturing, you know, you were looking after them. You maybe were like, how can I put it? Like uh, feathering the nest, like doing everything, putting a lot of work, hard work in to really uh, make this, you know, maybe even make your home beautiful for each other, like doing, you know, being an incredible partner but you have been left feeling disappointed and uh what's the word like hurt by your experiences really like tired now of putting all that work in and kind of feeling more a little bit maybe a little bit negative a little bit um what's the word cynical i'm getting uh and feeling yeah just less maybe that optimistic because you put so much work in I feel like they let you down in some way and yeah you're now feeling more like you may not even want to speak to them even though this was someone that you wanted to really build a solid foundation with now how they feel about you is interesting we have the seven of swords and the four of cups I mean this is it's not a good energy I'm, I'm not sure yet who is actually behaving like this maybe it's your person here Libra um, you'll know obviously but the seven of swords is um, being not dishonest and can be hiding hiding things about communication sneaking around uh, not making some sort of uh, decision avoiding a conversation you know self-sabotaging I'm getting as well now they may feel like they've they've sabotaged the connection with you certainly considering how you're feeling about them and um, with that four of cups that is um can talk about a missed opportunity it can talk about so they may feel like they've missed an amazing opportunity with you because they self-sabotaged it quite simply um they may also have, i'm getting the sense of being uh, distracted by less uh, offers that you know had no integrity to them just being you know giving attention to other people outside of the connection that doesn't actually necessarily have to mean uh full-blown cheating obviously although the seven of swords can talk about cheating it doesn't have to be here and it can just be more like you know temptation people flirting with them i don't know you, you'll you'll know but it's kind of like being distracted having their eye um, drawn away from something that actually had real integrity uh, and stability yeah and just yeah just I'm getting someone who likes the attention even if they don't do anything about it it's just that they like you know having their ego blown up um, and this could have been just messages with other people that um, they were hiding from you and that has sabotaged something very like the special opportunity that there was with you um, so that's 
kind of what I'm going there. Now, how they see you, again, <laughs> quite a tricky one. We have this devil energy, which is, it, it can talk about obsession. It can also talk about, uh, I mean, a whole host of things like vices, temptation, um, things kind of getting on top of them that they, were, you know, kept them from success. So it can be that can be something toxic in one way or another now it with this two of pentacles that is also can talk about feeling a little bit overwhelmed by having a lot going on trying to keep everything balanced can certainly talk about juggling as well though uh trying to maybe juggle you with somebody else or make up some sort of decision now this is how they're seeing seeing you so it could be that they see that um you need to make a decision about them this month or that they see that they were juggling you with someone else because of their um, some sort of toxic habits that this person has. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let me get more information before I say much else. So what happened in the past between the two of you? This is kind of what's telling me that maybe for some of you, this was um, a, a commitment. And for others of you, there was just serious, serious potential here. Because in the past, there was the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. The Empress is obviously the divine feminine and she can be Libra energy as well but also Taurus and kind of Venus so but yeah this can certainly talk about maybe in the past they really um, made you feel like this empress they really made you feel um, like you were incredible and certainly you are Libra but I just don't feel like they've been making you feel like that recently let's put it that way um, and there was but with the empress it's also about there was growth there was a serious abundance with this ten of pentacles as well this is um love and beauty and you know feeling like this is going to go somewhere putting work and effort into it with the empress but it's you know it's kind of just comes really easily it's not hard, it's not hard work it's just um you know things blossoming um naturally and um and seeming to go you know the all the way uh, towards you know growing old and having kids and watching your kids grow up together there is also the empress uh, can talk about fertility and she is uh, like the mother of the tarot and there's i'm just noticing the kids on this card so there could have been even that you had children together or that could have been something as well like your family um became bigger together beautiful in the past in the current mutual energy you're definitely moving forward out of that choppy water and I'm not going to repeat it because I was already on the spread like later so I don't want to just this reading be me describing the six of swords again and again but essentially the current mutual energy is looking pretty positive you're moving forward um onto clearer waters now whether that is with this person or just in a new direction in your life towards something else because then we have this beautiful ace of cups which is a new beginning in love now this can be um a renewal of an existing relationship uh, or connection as i said it can just be like that fresh new start it can also be like an offer of of love in a big way and um, but for others of you it's going to be something brand new but either way you're moving out of the conflict conflict about communication or men, men, mental conflict as well sorry that you're moving away from that into a smoother more peaceful time where things are just going to go a lot smoother for you and there's going to be a lot of love there as well as the current mutual energy now what this person wishes would happen in the connection between the two of you there's the ace of pentacles that we saw uh, come out at the beginning for like an important message for you this month so they do want to offer you a new beginning it looks like they want to offer you some one that actually has some stability behind it as well with that ace of pentacles with the five of wands it may be that they they want to um put a stop to um to there being conflict or arguments maybe about there being other people involved they want to be able to move past that it could also be that they actually want to fight for this as well um i am kind of seeing that uh and yeah but i'm i feel like mainly it's that they want to move out of this petty um energy or egoic energy or just arguments or even just involving other people and for there to be a new beginning that is more stable it's kind of like learning from this in the past with the five of ones they, they are in training together in some ways as well so it can be to learn from you know mistakes and to offer something tangible and real and a new beginning uh, to move forward from that now what is 
was blocking or is blocking the connection is yeah someone's ego for sure with this combination of the knight of wands and the sun this is someone who is maybe focused on um the physical or in, you know people's appearances or not actually it doesn't have to be doing anything as i said it can just be that they enjoy having their ego uh, blown up they enjoy admiration maybe this person is very good looking some of you that might be the case so maybe they get a lot of attention with this sun card for me this is often like you know the sun is very positive but it's telling me that this person is um they live for this you know not live that's maybe a bit dramatic but it makes them happy getting people's attention maybe being uh charismatic and a charmer and flirtatious with that knight of wands but uh this is this is inconsistency as well coming in and out because it's you know they come in for the attention and they go out again and that could be the case with these other people as well and it's yeah it's just not doing anyone any favors in the long run uh it's kind of like that um short-term sense of um gratification and long-term nothing so what are their intentions though towards you libra we've got the two of cups and the hierophant my goodness this is very a, a contrast from what is the block which i'm glad to see because what their intentions is would be to actually again with this hierophant is to offer you something a commitment something established really um i mean i want to say it's like they actually want to level up here and i am even getting a sense of like growing up becoming you know gaining maturity with the hierophant this is like um this is taurus energy again i should mention but it's just that um establishment it's also um can be about learning it can be about a lot of things like faith as well but i just get a sense of um learning from the um you know that this is what i'm saying here that the lessons they've learned from being in this immature um e ego arguments uh and competition and all of that kind of thing competition for their attention their intention is to actually learn from that and level up here and actually offer a solid commitment because with this two of cups they feel like you are very much well i want to say some of them will probably feel like you two are meant to be together frankly the two of cups is kind of like you know the intention in terms of an intention is to get on the same page as you um to see eye to eye you already must be very connected with this two of cups um, you know, a lot of chemistry connected um, emotionally and in the way you think as well. But yeah, so that's that, hence why they actually want to offer you a solid commitment. So what is it you need to know about their current situation? We have the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So this Four of Pentacles, this one for me, it can be about um, holding back, but it's also about holding on and not letting go of something. And the seven of wands here is perseverance against all odds kind of energy, like, excuse me, really doing a lot of hard work to make something happen, like kind of doing, you know, putting the graft in, uh, you know, to actually make something happen and persevering, um, fighting for what they believe in as well. And yeah, so I feel like this is them holding on to you and uh, persevering is their current situation. So... The action they're going to take towards you next we have this king of cups and the three of swords so the king of cups again as we already saw him under here so his water energy cancer pisces scorpio again and the three of swords i mean i want to say that they want to um the action they're going to take towards you next is to maybe be very affectionate maybe show you uh, their their love and affection uh, maybe again be more emotionally mature uh, and offer their emotion to you if they have been acting disinterested or you know emotionally detached in the past um, this three of swords it can be talking about wanting to actually heal bring this bring some healing to the sadness that they have caused you um, let's see I want to get more information on that one before I say much else so your advice uh, this month Libra, I think it's very positive. I mean, the Six of Pentacles can talk about, um, you know, only receiving a little bit, and certainly with that Four of Cups, a little bit of attention, a little bit of someone's investment time. Um, but there is major change happening with the Death card. I feel like there's going to be a transformation. 
it, for some of you it could be an ending but an ending with the death card is leading to a new beginning it's a major shift i feel like it's a shift in terms of feeling breadcrumbed is going to be changing and you're actually going to be again there's lots of different six of pentacles so this one is one of my favorites because these two people here are actually seeing eye to eye rather than both looking up at someone you know giving out this person at the top is holding the scales over them and they are actually looking at each other um, so I feel like it's this is more about equal reciprocity and and it feels like the advice is that change is coming if you've been feeling like you've yeah you haven't been uh being handled fairly or given fair investment back by this person I feel like it's going to be big change coming to this connection this month yeah and what's going to be happening between the two of you this month indeed we have messages back and forth with our eight of wands um, communication will be picking back up if you may be quite hesitant and guarded about it at first but they're not going to give up and as a result yeah things are going to be picking up six of swords again <laughs> moving forward uh into clearer waters feeling yeah things are going to be moving um naturally I, I feel you know sometimes it feels like you're trying to draw blood just trying to talk to someone that's that's going to be changing um there's going to be a flow of communication uh and yeah looking very positive so let me get your third layer i'll go through everything again so clarify one more time for libra please With the top 12 cards and if this is resonating please do leave me a comment love always oh, just to enjoy it <laughs> love to hear from you guys let me clarify please the top 12 cards for libra okay yeah, there's that Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, good. Very good. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Libra, this is looking so good. Oh, okay. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, it just gets better. At the bottom of the deck now, we have the Ten of Cups. That is serious. This is going to make you so happy. This, this is like bliss and contentment and a sense of, um, you know, the, with the rainbow in the background, this is after a time of storms of, you know, it could have been you feeling really emotionally tormented or uh, stuck and un unhappy, but this is the rainbow after all of that it is serious happiness and so sweet and romantic as well beautiful okay yeah so temperance this is Sag sagittarius first of all but and there may have been i think this is like talking about the patience that you've had that um strong sense of character to get through that um stagnancy it's peace as well with this particular temperance card it's that time of peace Thing, I think I've said a couple of times popped into my head with that six of swords you're going to be moving into like more tranquil just a sense of ease and um, calm beautiful let's see and behind that we have the knight of pentacles so interesting not only is this obviously talking about um, it's the princess of pentacles in this deck but it's the knight of pentacles so not only is this talking about a stable offer about really you know working on something together but it's something that can take a long term time to turn up so again with that temperance temperance card i feel like you've been waiting and been left perhaps in limbo some of you um but yeah this is uh actually coming in now and interestingly i was going to say it's almost like i i feel like you may have just been about to give up on this person and like kind of get on the horse and move on elsewhere and that now they're coming in because I say that this card is also talking about the need to actually stay, you know, where you are and you're not done in your current situation. How can I, I hope that makes any sense. It's kind of like, hold, hold up, before you move on to like, if, you know, say if you were like moving city or something, it's kind of the universe going, hold, wait, wait, one second, don't move on, move city yet, because there's actually still something um, special 
that we you're still yet to experience in your current city so we're going to make sure you actually stay and experience it there first if that makes sense but obviously it's not cities i'm talking about relationships and, and connections so it may that be you're just really actually getting to the point of being fed up feeling like guarding your heart and now actually universe is like no hold on your patience was worthwhile now is when your happiness is coming in so at the bottom of the deck though we have the two of wands again exactly as we had it at the bottom of the first deck so it's it's may have been a moment where you're wondering again about moving on it's like where um is which direction should i take my life and where does my heart kind of want to lead me here um so let's see and, and obviously a decision but interesting this princess of swords is the knight of swords so communication coming in again it can be out of the blue it can be expect the unexpected with this card um and it's also talking about with this this knight of swords the sword is actually kind of uh, dual edged and each edge of the sword is to signify like an, an idea about something so it's kind of you're actually going to be having a second I second ideas uh, what's the phrase like i've had a second thought about this person actually it kind is what i mean to say so yeah there's come and which will need mean that you need to make a decision about which direction to take this in but yeah you're actually um having it it's like hold up <laughs> don't discount this one just yet let's see what else yeah and the seven of pentacles so there's a lot of reflecting going on here uh, a lot of considering about whether to continue investing with the seven of pentacles but this is very positive again for me she's actually looking back over what she has and she is in this card very contented very happy and feeling um that sense of um gra uh, gratitude and of happiness of what she actually has so i'm not saying that you're not gra grateful for where you are right now libra it's more like when this comes in things are going to be progressing and i feel like you're actually going to be looking back and being like oh this is actually going really well i'm really happy with what is um being shown to me or what is actually happening not just being shown because that can be illusion but i'm talking about actually tangible evidence that things are progressing well um so yeah very good let me go through so how you feel about them is clarified by that four of cups so this is obviously i feel like this sense of disappointment and feeling hurt and that you really wanted to build something with this person but you just felt like they have been um, acting as if they're not interested that they're bored even with your offers your efforts uh, and you feel like um, maybe they are have been rejecting you or kind of not treating you with you know the attention and that you does and the investment that you deserve kind of neglecting you basically you feel neglected is the <laughs> the short version of all that rambling i just said so you feel neglected and you feel like also now you're you're not wanting to put in any more effort because you did so much and now you're feeling really um dejected about them now how they feel about you i'm glad to see this is clarified by the justice card so that's your energy libra but also i feel like they feel like they need to make this right they're they're getting distracted um however serious that is depending on the level of your connection you know by other people by messaging by needing their like ego stroke to whatever they feel like they actually need to put things right now um bring back more balance in terms of the as i said the re reciprocity between the two of you and make things right um because they they feel like they have been unfair to you now how they see you Ooh the queen of wands i mean this can go a couple of different ways actually they do see you as very attractive libra of with that queen of wands that is someone hella sexy and confident and with the way she's got these um, butterflies on her gown in this particular queen of wands i always think there's also the sense of change and transformation so they may be seeing you in a different light as well but i also feel to be honest with this combination of this two of pentacles that sense of juggling i was saying here with the devil uh temptation vices and you know what we we're getting here about how they feel so to be honest i feel, I feel they see that they have been um juggling you with the you know attention it's that again it doesn't have to be like one person that they're having some sort of illicit thing with i'm not saying that obviously you'll know what's going on but it's just like someone was uh trying to get their attention trying acting as a kind of temptation and i feel like they they see that they have been juggling you 
or with somebody else's attention uh, and it's it is because of like some toxic trait that they have some um yeah something that they actually need to work through and they are very much aware of what they're doing that's why they know they feel they need to make things right so what happened in the past between the two of you is clarified by the queen of cups so water energy cancer pisces scorpio again but for me this is just talking about there was a lot of love well, i mean with the empress and the queen of cups seriously this is this is love and emotion flowing uh, and a lot of happiness um, like again very nurturing very kind and caring uh, really looking after them as well I feel like you were really looking like looking after them how you feel like that queen of pentacles but that now you're kind of done because because you have been neglected by them but in the past there was so much beauty and love in this connection so the current mutual energy is interesting because it's clarified by the eight of cups now certainly the eight of cups can uh, in another deck I would say as, as well can talk about um, walking away from something and with the six of swords you know for some of you for sure it could be absolutely walking away from this that wasn't emotionally fulfilling moving on to uh, clearer waters and having a new beginning elsewhere you know you'll know what for each of you is going to be different so for some of you that's going to be the case but I want to show you something for the others of you on this particular eight of cups and bear in mind I'm using three decks so there's two other versions which are more the classic way this one that's come out is the guy retracing his steps in the snow and actually returning to somewhere he was before. So I do feel that for most of you, in fact, the current mutual energy is actually, um, could be this person returning to you. It could be you, you were on the verge of walking away from them and now actually you're returning back uh, to have this new beginning in love with them. Um, but it's it's all very positive. Either way, it's, you know, it's, whether you're moving away or moving back to them, there is a sense of leaving disappointment and conflict in the past and having a beautiful new beginning. So what they wish would happen in the connection with you is clarified by the six of ones. Amazing. First of all, do you see how the the progression from the five of ones to the six of ones? So that is exactly what I'm talking about. They want to put all this conflict and any arguing, any sense of competition, you name it, I already said it, in the past and move forward to that six of wands very clear message there via some sort of offer via um, something they want to um, suggest to you now that could be different for a lot of you it could be you know let's move in together or let's just have um, a date and actually let's have a conversation about you know actually calling this a commitment and let's do this and you know blah 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 <laughs> but you know what I mean it's something actually real you can put your finger on and say this happened we're doing this and it's something tangible to actually and that is what I feel like they want to offer you with that page of pentacles that we saw at the beginning to move this forward now this six of ones the other thing I want to say this is talking about someone actually in this deck coming forward from it's like imagine two warring parties and someone sends like an emissary from one party over to the other um, to make peace to like a broker like a peace treaty um, but it is also what I mean is, is a message coming forward so it's not just a sense of what they want is to um, have victory over all of this horrible five of ones energy that you guys have been experiencing to move past that they want to come forward with a message to you with this offer um, to have a new beginning and you know let's make for some of you it's going to be let's start again let's have a, a clean slate let's really do this this time kind of thing now what is blocking the connection is clarified by the strength cards a heavy leo energy here <laughs> really so for some of you you might be dealing with a leo it doesn't have to be um but for the strength card again i am getting in terms of a block strong arrogance is was the main issue here as i already said this is someone's ego was seriously in the way someone wanting to get attention as I said and you know the kind of not wanting to show weakness or maybe in terms of the strength card as a block it can also be holding back from something and also you know not being when I say weakness I mean like not wanting to be vulnerable with you in like an emotional way uh, maybe they maybe that's why they enjoy just low what's the word 
like shallow interactions with people because then they don't risk getting hurt if it's just all very surface level uh, connections. So that could be part of the issue and maybe they need to talk to you about that for some of you. But yeah, I'm seriously, is someone's ego <laughs> was the problem. Now, what are their intentions towards you, Libra? Is clarified by the star card. So that's Aquarian energy, but this is beautiful. This is healing. It's also, in this deck, it's actually being guided towards you. And I feel very much, this person feels very guided towards you to actually uh, bring healing. They feel guided to actually, if they're going to commit to anyone, it would be to you because they feel like you guys are, are made for each other with that two of cups. Beautiful. Two of cups, the star, the hierophant. Seriously, in terms of their intention, this is, um, yeah, to bring healing and love back into this connection with you and to uh, offer the stability as well. Now, what you need to know about their current situation is clarified by the Two of Swords. So um, this can talk about um, making a decision, certainly. I, For me, it always reminds me of this Justice card as well. You see the similarities in the way it's been uh, drawn. So it can be that they're making uh, maybe a difficult decision that they have been avoiding of some sort. Let me see. Get some more for you on this one. So... Can we clarify, please, about the current situation of the person that Libra is dealing with? What else can you tell me? It could be that they have been holding back and maybe even keeping you at arm's length because they uh, didn't want to make a decision. Could also be an element, but let's see. What is it about... Libra's current, uh, the situation of Libra's person. Yes, yeah, so they need to make a decision about what actually makes them happy. Why, oh. Why is the seven of wands here, please? Oh, the four of wands. And why is the four of pentacles here, please? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, interesting. Yeah. This person was hold that has been holding back because they ne needed to choose what was going to make them happy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, that's definitely enough. Yeah, that kind of tells me everything. So that we also had come out the five of swords, the two of swords and the knight of swords on top of the two of swords. So look, your person's current situation, they probably have been holding back from you whilst also trying to hold on to you. And the reason for that was because they had probably had options. I think we've um, have addressed that already. And they needed to make a decision about which direction they want to go in. We have the two of wands, the seven of cups and the queen of wands here. It, now the queen of wands, as I said, she's already here in how they see you uh, with the two of pentacles. So it can, can just um, metaphorically speak about, you know, uh, attractive, other attractive offers that they might have around them, maybe even uh, someone that they have been juggling between you and someone else. As I said, it doesn't have to be a specific person. It could just be, you know, the attention of other females versus being in a committed or males, it doesn't matter. But, you know, the attention of other sexy people um, versus being in an established commitment. I feel like they were holding back their pentacles, their stability, because they were um, they couldn't make a decision about what they actually wanted. But that is changing because um, with the seven of wands in terms of actually persevering, fighting for something, what that, that is, is the four of wands and the king of pentacles. So you see the change here. This is commitment with the four of wands and commitment with the king of pentacles and actually being stable, being reliable and being loyal and actually putting the work in. They have to do the work to get this now because they were acting like a egoic muppet before, you know, no criticism, no, no real criticism. I say that with love, but yeah, so now they've got their work cut out for them and so that is that. And finally, why is this two of swords here? They, they needed to make a decision, but what do you want? Do you, what is, and they needed to work out what it was that actually make them happy in the long run. As I said, short-term gratification or long-term happiness. And I feel like you haven't been speaking to this person 
uh, recently or maybe for a while there has been a maybe silent treatment or and again this five of swords can talk about someone's ego leading them to not speaking not communicating properly again the two of swords because they needed to make a decision but there's the knight of swords there's the communication coming in because this person is actually figuring it out and they're going to need to do the work but they're figuring out and making the decision and then coming in to communicate it to you so the action they're going to take towards you next libra is clarified by the page of wands so i feel like they know that they have hurt you by their behavior so far um they actually want to bring a lot of love in to kind of heal this three of swords i also feel like this three of swords is talking about actually um putting an end to any kind of third party or other or however many parties being involved uh, and bringing healing and love to you and with the page of wands this is reaching out and it is making something happen via communication uh, bringing their passion taking action to kind of overcome this sense of hurt and um, maybe if you feel a bit betrayed by them and bringing a lot of love and messaging you basically if we haven't seen that enough already now what you need to know your advice uh, is clarified by the ace of wands so yeah as i said this is going to be we saw the ace of wands at the beginning this is going to be a passionate new beginning the you know what i was saying about the death card here as well though with the death card wherever there's an ending there's a beginning there's your beginning so for some of you someone new for others this person depending on what you want but i feel it's going to be major change and you, what you're going into whether it's with past or new there is going to be uh, a new beginning where it's actually equal give and take equal reciprocity and equal investment and yeah there's going to be big big positive passionate change happening for you libra so what's going to be happening between the two of you this month is if it could get any better as clarified by the lovers card so uh gemini energy here as well but this is just beautiful it is romantic it's love it is yeah really sweet and beautiful i mean guys look at these two cards please <laughs> the ten of cups and the lovers that is what's happening for you guys this month now the lovers can also talk about making a choice so if this is the past person that you are and you want to work on this with them then this is them choosing you uh, but otherwise you it's just moving forward messages coming back and forth this i have to say quickly before this finishes that um this lovers card is so lovely because it's talking about um the winds of change blowing in the background the different seasons changing but the actual the lovers themselves stand strong in those winds of change and it's very beautiful and romantic so yeah super positive communication coming in romance happiness celebration libra one of my favorite readings i've done in a while <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed it you definitely deserve it from feeling like neglected and uh, ignored by this person and after all that love that you guys had in the past it really looks like things are changing for the better for you so i really hope you enjoyed the video do leave me a comment uh, hit the like button for me and if libra gets the most likes this month i'll do you guys a bonus love reading and subscribe that would be absolutely fantastic i want to do something special when i hit 1000 subscribers i know that's like small fry in the world of youtube but it's a big deal for me so when we hit 1000 i'll do something special i don't know what it is yet um but yeah otherwise just have an amazing march thank you so much for all your support i'll speak to you soon thanks libra bye